Hey guys, Dave's Tabletop Warm Gaming here. Uh, been working on these projects this weekend, making some nice fences. <clears throat> uh, come out looking pretty good. Uh, make another one right now. I haven't done any of the basing yet, but the actual construction is really easy. So. Just start with a little piece of whatever you use for basing. This is pretty pretty thick, pretty dense and heavy. Um, it's about six inches long. I think it's actually six and a half, but seeing how I've already made the rest of them that long, I'm going to keep them that length. Um, and then use a piece of square dowel <coughs> for the fence posts. You can pick these up at any of your hardware stores. Um, so I've kind of picked out a height that I liked based on my guys and then cut my posts and I'm gonna cut a few more posts just on my little table saw you could use just about anything to cut this wood it's really light easy to work with um, and then the construction is pretty easy we're gonna use some um, these are called wire nails they're really sharp so don't really need a whole lot to get them through this board uh, it only takes two, two nails per, we're just going to put a nail straight through here, straight through here, and then attach our post to it, and then take a piece of wire, this is screen from like your house windows, picked up a nice large roll of that, and then I just uh, cut it to size with my scissors. This is a piece of scrap wire, I'll use it for something else, but it wasn't long enough so on a project like this you don't want to end up with scrap like that so you want to make sure that as you're rolling it out and cutting it that you keep it to the right length so I have let's see this is how long is that it's like uh, two and a half feet or something like that pretty big um, Got a little piece of wire holding it together so it doesn't just all unroll. Um, I've already got a little, yeah, I'm gonna knock everything over here. I've already got a little piece started, so I'm gonna go from there. And so I wanna go about that far right to about there. So this is really, really light. I can just take my scissors, cut it to where I want to go, and then I already got that going. So I'll just keep that going. And these are just squares so they can, you can kind of, you already got a straight line on them. You don't really got to worry about that. That'll be my next piece of fencing. And so I'm going to put this away and then cut some boards and I'll be right back. This is kind of my junk board tabletop area. It used to be my primary workstation, but then I got these tables. So, um, But the reason I'm over here is because I need a much sturdier surface because I need to hammer these nails in. Now, these nails are too small for me to actually hold while I hammer. So, but they are very sharp. So I'm just going to take one in my pliers and push it down in. Same for the other side. Just right about a little bit away from the edge of the, the board. Um, and that's right where the posts are going to go and then just tap them all the way through. I know that you're gonna actually nail this to your board, but they are very small. You should be able to just pick them up with your fingers with a nice light little pull. Make sure that you get them in straight. So I've got my nails through. Really all it takes is right in the middle of that nail, right in the middle of your post, we got cut. 
just push. This is basically like balsa wood. I think they call it pine, whatever. It's really just kind of scrap wood. Um, take and just tap them down. You want to make sure that those nails are all the way down or else they're going to make a pivot point and it won't rest properly on your tabletop. So you can bend them. The nails are not very strong. So then take your screen. Uh, see that curve in it? That's because it came in a roll. You're going to want to bend it back the opposite way. And then take your straighter edge if you have a straighter edge on it. If not, you might want to clean it up. Uh, it's gonna. Mine's sitting over the top just a little bit. Uh, it's not going to be a big issue. Uh, and then just take a couple dots of super glue to kind of attach it. This is not going to be the main attachment. It's just going to make it so that when we are holding it in, you can see on this other one, there's four pieces of wire tying it to the post. While we're working with those, the super glue is going to hold it in place so that we can do that. Uh, and the wire is going to want to kind of tend to pull away from the screen. So not directly on top of the super glue. Put something over there just to weight it down a little bit. Uh, your pliers, whatever. And that will hold it closer so that the screen doesn't pull away so that the glue will set. And then once the glue is set, um, you're going to tie it off with some wire and we'll get back to that in a second. So after that glue has dried sufficiently, I'm going to take some, this is a very thin gauged wire, 24 gauge, it's called handy wire. I've had this for a long, long time. Uh, it's probably very similar to a um, picture wire. Uh, I'm going to use some wire cutters to cut very small, it's probably an inch and a half, two inches, piece of wire. Take These pliers are perfect for me. Uh, I just take it and bend it so it kind of looks like a staple. And then I'm going to start in one of the bottom corners and feed it through the wire on either side and then on the back side just pinch it together a little bit and then twist it until it's nice and tight don't grab it too close or as you're twisting it will break give it enough twists you actually want it to bite into the wood a little bit uh, that way you know you know it's not going anywhere, and then you can just trim off most of it. Uh, just leave a little bit back there behind there, and then I'm just going to repeat that process a few more times. Make your little horseshoe staple. Twist, twist, twist. <clears throat> Cut it off. That side's done. I'm just going to do two aside. You want to make sure that it, your wire is long enough. You're going to have some waste on this, but it's just how it goes. Um, make sure that it's long enough that you can get it back behind your, your fence post and then you can grab it once it's back there. Uh, 
you also want to make sure that when you're putting your bottom ones in that see I messed this one up it wasn't long enough you want to make sure that when you're putting your bottom ones in that they're up high enough so that you can grip twist them in you have plenty of clearance Now on these, I did, the first time I made these, I made these bases probably two inches wide this way. Um, and I realized when I did that, part of what I wanted to do with these is when they got moved through by a vehicle, I wanted to be able to lay them down to show that they had been, they were no longer impeding infantry, that anybody could just move right over them. Uh, and what would have happened with those other bases is that they would have stood up way too high, almost like a barricade. So I, I trimmed them down, but this, even though it's only about a quarter inch thick, it's really heavy by comparison to this wire. This wire is really light, and even with the post coming up, there's still way more uh, weight on the bottom to hold them upright than on the top. So if you get the right kind of board, um, this is just scrap board for me that I found, so I'm not entirely sure what it is. Uh, but if you get the right kind of board, it shouldn't be a problem. Then that wire's hanging over the top, and I'm just going to go down one row. Make a nice clean cut, nice clean top. And of course, you could go back through and maybe cut some slits where somebody had tried to get through before um, wouldn't really be that hard um, it's not that hard to remove the, the top assembly from these nails it'll come right off, you just kind of wiggle it out so there it's out and then if you want to go back and say oh look somebody came through with wire cutters and let themselves in you could do that and then just find the hole, line the pin back up with the hole, press it back down, and then you can kind of, some kind of effect like that, you could just do something like that. Oh look, they, they tried to come through. So, it's my fencing. Works out pretty good. Looks pretty nice. So, hope you enjoyed.